maple sap time, meaning it's time to make this syrup. Just saying, okay? So, if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription button for me. Don't forget to like this video, and don't forget to share this content, because somebody out there may have tapped their trees, and now they're lost. They don't know what to do. So guess what? I'm about to do it. So, as you guys see, of course I got my wagon. This, I wanted to show before I even get started, because it was cold, and now we have pretty much it's going to be like close to 50-ish, 60-ish today. This is Michigan, so tomorrow to jump back to 30. So, I figured this was the perfect time because my trees have been gone for about a couple weeks on and off because of the weather. So, this one, because everything else like I got to I want you to see, this is frozen. So like that little bit there, because you don't want to just wait for it to unthaw, that's like your sugar content. But this is a good thing because the sugar of the sap doesn't freeze, just the water. So I don't need this. I just need that little bit of liquid. I've already done pretty much a lot as far as my syrup within this container. Like I said, this container is filled all the way to here. So this is pre-filled. Like this is like, I think it's bigger than five gallons. I forget how many quarts this is. Now I have one, I believe that's 30 quarts, which is smaller. So this probably is about maybe 50 or 80 quarts. But like I said, I'm not for sure. It's the misters, so I'm using both. It has a spout here. This is a cap for it. And it tells you, you know, like now it's off, fit on. And it also has like a little pouring spot, as y'all see there, to pour it out to make it easier. So this is what I got so far. Let me see if you guys can see it. That's what I got so far from this container. So it does set a little bit. I'm gonna pour that last little bit out in here and this, I'm gonna discard. Don't need it. All right, so we're gonna sit all that there. I'm gonna go ahead and get my burner lit and everything. And I don't think that you guys need to know that because if you're messing with anything flammable, propane, um, gasoline, which you shouldn't be doing, but propane. You just want to make sure that you're always taking uh, precaution measures, you know, like maybe your safety goggles, and then when you light it, don't have your face over it, if you know what I'm saying. So it's just steps and so forth, things that you do that you take so that you don't catch fire and have to stop, drop, and roll, and then get burned. I don't want you to get burned. So let's remember to always practice safety we messing with fire. I've been burned several times, so trust me, you don't want to get burned, okay? I've had second degree burn on my hand before. Yeah, but that's neither here nor there because that's not dealing with making maple syrup. So again, guys, thank you for tuning in and we're gonna go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, guys, so I got it going. And as you see, it's started to do a little bitty bubbling at the bottom. See them coming up to the top, so. We almost got action for boiling. So we do have that. We have this one empty. This is full to the top. This one, as you see, came from the big bucket. And this one is full to the top. Yes, I will be getting those out. I do have my filter. I have everything in the inside set up. So, when they get to doing more action, I'll come back with more action. Okay, 
don't don't hold my uh, my heart to it. Y'all know what I mean. So, but it's 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 doing what it's doing, y'all. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna let this boil down at least mm, not a half halfway, but like one third down, and then I'm gonna add some more, and I'm gonna keep doing it like that. But I'm gonna add to it. You know, you don't want to rush add it in so i got my little that i'm going to scoop my sap and then and i got a method that i do even when i boil like certain things and i'm adding water and when i get to that point you know i'm gonna let y'all know i just try to make it make sense on what i would normally do and apply it with this and then have the necessary supplies to check to make sure that we got Okay, so as y'all see, we got some steam and stuff going on. It was kind of twirling in a little circle, like spinning around like that. I just said, stop it, you're getting me dizzy, I know, right? And I did go ahead and scoop off the little foam that you guys had saw. But as far as the other little bits and stuff, I'm not going to really be concerned with because when I filter it, that should do the job. So basically, it's just having like the knowledge of previous experience from cooking other items applying them to this but then having the necessary tools and supplies when you are trying to do this so like no i didn't have no evaporator this is my first time you know you don't want to get all these tools and things and then mess something up and then now you are like oh my goodness i didn't even know what i was doing right so start off small and grow to big but it's looking good for me. I'm going to check my flame, make sure it's up high enough to where I need it to be. Because you don't want to burn it or rush it. It's not no rush job. And when I get ready to add sap, I'll just add it. Of course, I have a little method that I do when I place it. You know, when you're working with a cooler liquid going into a hotter liquid, you know, you don't want to slow down your boil. So some of you guys may already know this trick, but when we get to that point, you know, I'll make sure that uh, I'll let you guys see it and so that you can know. So you be like, oh my goodness. Right. So. Okay, so y'all probably can't see that I got like a little barrier around me. That's because the wind, you know, want to kick up here and here. I'm not upset about it. So it feels really nice. You just got to block it off so that your fire don't go off. But I'm not doing nothing while the trailer. When you actually do decide that you want to tap maple trees, make sure you know all your research about it. Make sure gather all the tools and everything necessary to accomplish from step A to step D. Meaning also, know like your time and what you have to do when it's time to change it from step to serve. Because it's not a quick process. Like even from waiting for the tree to provide sap for you, that's the tree's job to do that. That's not my job to rush the tree to do it. If you get what I'm saying, it's nature. You let nature run its course. So, with allowing that and respecting nature, it's a process to get the sweetness from. So, this may take anywhere from five to eight hours depending upon how much sap you have and I think all total I have roughly maybe about 22 gallons if I'm correct about 20. Well, let's see if that one poured out yeah probably roughly around about 22 no more than about 24 gallons and I respected my tree she produced I respected the time it took 
I was patient. And now even with this time, I prepared myself to know that you're learning something new, you're doing it yourself, you're saving money, and eventually, real soon when I get my land and my farm, mm -hmm, I'm, I'm claiming. That's, um, that may be something I would like to do, would be make maple syrup. But FYI, just between me and you, that's what I want to do. I want to give back to whatever community I'm in. And I'm going to achieve that, and that's what I'm going to do. But um, it's a process, and I'm enjoying this process because it's a beautiful day outside. Um, if it get a little more nippy, I got my logs and stuff in my fire pit. I can go ahead and start a fire. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm still out here. Because this thing gets a timer. You guys here. And I kind of actually like this little burner because it has so many good safety mechanisms. It must have already knew that I was like an accident prone person. So, with that being said, you have to make sure that the timer is twisted and it lasts for 15 minutes. So, basically, it's like if you're checking on a turkey, if you're frying something over. You get what I'm saying? But, if you let it the timer go out then it automatically shuts the flame off isn't that neat so you're not burning up nothing and, or you know how say you ain't stay out here for this process and you go back in the house and you try to go to sleep it's gonna shut it off for you and your job ain't gonna be done so I'm gonna enjoy being out here then when we get some more action going where I can show you guys you know when it get halfway when it start to change colors you know all of these things is going to be so exciting to me so I'm going to show them with you guys because this is a very very beautiful it's very very beautiful moment like I'm not going to hold you up I told you guys in the other video and if you haven't um, watched that I'll make sure I drop that um, video like at the end but go ahead and check that video out that's when I was actually tapping the trees it is blissful beyond imagination I don't know it's like it moves you so I really enjoy tapping the tree and I'm so excited and geeked it's like I gotta be patient so that when I'm done with this process I can move indoors to finish out the other process so I'm gonna go ahead and get the check in and see so because I did put my lid on it but when you take the lid off if you do just take it off so all that water dripping don't get back in your good work that you got going on so just certain little steps and then I said I'm gonna show you guys as far as the tip when you're doing it to put it the um more in like I've already placed some in so the boiling is not rapid anymore but it's getting back to that point but basically you're just going to take an important along the side versus directly right smack in the middle that way it kind of like flows and evenly springs if y'all get what I'm saying so like I said, when we get a little bit more, get some little bit more color, get some more of stuff going, I'll come back and show you guys so you can see how that's looking. But the process is just being patient, sitting out, enjoying nature, kicking back, um, and having a good time. I mean, what better way to do this? It's just relaxing. It's calming. It's good for your soul. Okay, so it's rapidly boiling. The white film that you see on top, you can go ahead and scoop that off. I have like a little strainer type thing. I don't know what you call it. It just, I got it from the dollar store and it works well for what I'm trying to do. And you're just gonna skim right off the top. Just scoop it up, dump it out. I'll get something to rinse this out, but that's pretty much it. And you're just gonna keep doing that as it appears. Okay, so the lid is hot. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit in. Pull it nice and good. I was waiting, y'all, because my the wind was blowing. See 
how slow I do it right on the side. Just hear it kick right back in to get back to getting this pulled back up. Now, may I just a little bit more. But basically that's all you do. You just let it pour down, add a little bit, keep adding. And pretty much you know. So basically, it's the chill board down to I'm gonna do. Just go back and put the top back on. But you know what? I'm gonna show you guys so you can see the color of it now. Okay, so it's kind of like a dirty gold looking color. Camera does not do it any justice seeing it in person going from clear to like a golden type color this is so beautiful so again guys thank you for tuning in don't forget hit that subscription button for me love you guys i'm gonna place that right back on so it can catch right back up to the boil so yes i'm so excited guys can't wait okay so this is the timer box and i placed two bricks along the side of it so that the knob would not turn and guess what the timer didn't run out and i didn't have to keep checking okay guys so as you see the other bucket is gone i don't no longer need my um little pitcher here but i still need my thing to stir and my um little strainer just in case so let's see how it's going because i just got her there filled up and this is basically all of it here. So I've already been boiling out for about, about five hours, I think. So this maybe will take about, maybe four. I'm gonna leave the top on to let it catch up to a rapid boil. And then once it catches up to a rapid boil, I'm gonna go ahead and um, boil it down to when it's a, about half a gallon. Take it in and we'll go from there.